Hi there. Let's talk about the NFL's ratings on the first week, or lack thereof. I'm Ken Lammers. This is Minor League Matters, and let's get cracking. Okay, so before everything started, there was at least one article from CNN talking about how the NFL was not going to have any rating problems this year for the obvious reasons. That people weren't going to be in the stadiums and they were craving football and therefore they would all turn to their television sets and there would be glorious ratings for the NFL like unto none it had seen in years and years. Uh, maybe going back as far as to when there were only three channels and it was the major choice, right? Um, no. And, you know, you've probably heard already, but I'll tell you here now, and I'm going to, I ripped the rookies down so I didn't get them wrong. Uh, Thursday night, the opening game, NFL ratings were down 12%. Sunday night, NFL ratings were down 15%. Monday night football, NFL ratings for the first game were down 17%, and for the second game were down 27%. Now, for Sunday afternoon football, apparently on NBC, the ratings were down some. On Fox, they were up uh, at least a little bit, particularly in the game uh, in which Tom Brady played but not any huge amounts, right? So this is where we see basically across the board it just dropped, hatcheted down and not even just a little bit. I mean it dropped significantly from last year. This isn't the first time the NFL has been down this pathway, right? There were a number of things that put them here and we all know what the obvious one is but I'm going to talk about some other things too now first of all we've we've seen you know over the years the ratings have been drop, dropping somewhat as more choice has been available that sort of thing and you know when I was a kid there were three channels and Monday night football came on and the other channels didn't even really try to bother because that's what was on the one TV in the living room. You know, your console TV, you were watching Monday Night Football. You know, over time, that spread a little bit out with cable, uh, where there were more choices, but still, you know, it was a significant thing. And then came computers and tablets and phones and a million other choices and the numbers dipped. The, N the NFL enjoys, usually when it starts up, um, NHL is not playing, and right now the NHL is playing its championship series, and it's a really good series, and they're going through a number of overtime games, and they're going through really hard-fought series, which go all the way to seven games. Just really enjoyable hockey. Uh, and, you know, generally the NFL doesn't have to deal with that when it's starting your season because that's already over and they're just waiting for the new hockey season to start. And so some small number is off watching hockey. We won't say that it's a huge number, but some small number is off watching hockey. Hockey's done pretty well with its uh, ratings compared to what it normally does. Baseball. Usually, by the time football season starts, baseball has pretty much shaken itself out and is playing a dead portion of the season, right? Um, you know, 80% of the teams are done, it's all over, they're just playing to play, and it's a lot of meaningless games. So, baseball is not something that's really competitive at the time football starts up. This year, baseball started a lot later. They're pretty much still kind of in the meat of the season, 
and there's a lot of teams that are still fairly competitive. And so if you're a baseball guy, you might choose to watch baseball instead of watching football. Probably not taking a huge numbers out, but it's taking numbers out. And, you know, then you do things like decide that Hank isn't going to do your opening anymore, which is such a part of Monday Night Football that it's just, you know, part of it. And it's something that rip, rip roars and brings you in and makes you huh, want to go. And uh, he's gone again. And then, of course, there's the politics. Now, mind you, I've got to think that the NFL knows what's going on with the politics. I mean, they knew what would happen when they decided to be political in their first week because they've had it happen before. Remember when Kaepernick knelt initially and all that? Lots of fans left the stadium. Many not to return. Right? Um, attendance is down. Numbers are down. Ratings are down. The President of the United States is talking down to them about how this is a failure on their part to allow this sort of thing to happen. Um, and that's when they got desperate enough to bring Hank back the first time. Uh, I don't know if they'll bring him back this time, but they got desperate enough they brought Hank back after having banished him to the wilderness for several years. Uh, and they brought their ratings back up some. But now, you know, they've clearly decided, yeah, we'll take the hit. Or maybe they thought, you know, we're just that big that we won't get a hit, right? That people are just so chomping at the bits, at their bit to get there and watch football, to have our sport there, that it will not impact us. And, and you know, if that was the analysis or, you know, the gamble, they were wrong there. There's a lot of fans out there who want sports to be a unifying thing. I'm a fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. You're a fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. She's a fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. Don't care what any of our politics are. We're all Bengals fans. And we can agree to that. And we can enjoy watching the game. And we can leave all the politics and all work and all that garbage behind and have a blast watching the game. Well, when I'm a Bengals fan, she's a Bengals fan, he's a Bengals fan, and suddenly they're doing politics on the, on the field, which half the fans disagree with, you're going to lose a certain number of people. And they lost a certain number of people. You know, the ratings should have gone up because if you're not to stand, you're watching it at home, right? There should have been a lot more eyes on the screen. Um, there also were some new ways that they're working up how they count who's watching it. Apparently they're counting if you're in a bar or someplace and they've got it on in the corner. Uh, and Then they count the people in the bar as having watched the game. Kind of iffy. I mean, I know how I watch sports when I'm at one of those places. Ooh, look, hockey. Ooh, look, baseball. Is that lacrosse? Oh, wait, there's the football game. You know, you're bouncing between them. And, uh, so I don't know that, uh, that the counting should count so much, but it is going to. So those factors should have raised it. And despite those factors, despite the fact that you know a lot of places there's still nothing to do because certain governors have still got their states locked down, despite all of this, the numbers still tanked. Um, and apparently, the NFL has just decided that they're going to man up and take this because they're going to let their players do all this political stuff. They're going to paint their stadiums in a certain way. And that's that. And if they're making that choice, you know, they've decided this is the way it is. And that's what we're going to do. And more power to them, I guess. Uh, everybody gets to make their choice. If they choose, you know, 
to be political in a certain way over profit, one either wonders whether they are that principled, some of them probably are, some of the people making these decisions stuff probably are, or they're that scared. And you, one would think that it's probably, noting the current atmosphere, a lot more fear than it is being principled. And if they're going to let that rule them, they're going to let that rule them. Uh, nothing we can do about any of that. Now, the good news, or at least the good rumor, is that the NFL is going to deal with this much the way baseball did, right? The first week, they're going to have some of this going on, and then it's going to fade until they're just playing ball again. Um, and that was, if you recall how baseball handled it, that's kind of how baseball handled it, right? They had the first week, or I don't know, maybe in the first couple of days, just they did this thing, did these things, and then it was gone. And they were back to baseball as normal. And even if you were upset the first week or so, most fans came back in and, you know, actually baseball, because it was the first to reopen, the first serious sport here to reopen, had a huge influx of fans anyway. But, you know, even if you were upset by the political stuff at the beginning, it was gone fairly shortly. They kept playing, and now you're just going... Yeah, I can watch a game, and that's a great thing. Um, there's a rumor, rumor mill has it that maybe NFL is going to do the same sort of thing. And I guess we can hope for that. Uh, personally, I doubt it's going to disappear completely. It's just become intertwined. I mean, I don't think they will go NBA level and just go suicidal and drive their profits and viewership into the toilet, but, uh, you know, they're, I, I think that they will probably have some level of, of this political stuff going on, and through the season it will be an annoyance, and maybe next year it'll disappear, uh, but uh, I think they will less and less emphasize it as time goes along, and hopefully we can just get back to watching a sport that unifies us rather than uh, being forced to watch somebody else's politics on the screen. And that's it for me today, folks. Uh, if you like this, just hit the like. Leave comments below. No guarantee I'll get back to you anytime soon. Understand this is a hobby, not my job. And, and of course, the job that pays money takes precedence, so I will uh, uh, comment back if I can, but uh, you know, we'll see. The uh, other things, you know, the things I think I'm obligated to say on YouTube, uh, if you like all this around here, subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the bell, because the bell, is, I don't do this as a living, obviously, uh, since I don't make any money off of it, and, you know, these are in, you know, they're not consistent. Some weeks I'll get a couple, three of them in, sometimes it'll be a month later before I get another one. So, you're going to need something to go ding ding and tell you when I put something up if you're actually interested. And if you need to contact me directly, you can do it at Lammers K on uh, Twitter, direct message me. Uh, Lammers K L A M M E R S K on Twitter. Folks, that's it for today. You'll have some fun. Watch some sports. Watch some sports with your kids. Watch some sports with your dad, your mom, your sister, anybody. You know, just have some fun, get together, and have a blast. Masalama, y'all.